Hey guys, it's Anders. So we are looking at the Smart EQ 2 from the guys over at Sonable. Now, the previous video, we broke down what Smart EQ 2 does and how it profiles the sound. In this video, we're just going to be looking at some of the mid side ability that we can utilize. So this is a track I built the other night on live stream. And in it, I've got the snare sent to a reverb. And really the idea was to give it some left right feel but maintain uh, the center feel with the snare. So we just put the uh, Smart EQ 2 on the snare reverb here. So we're gonna set our profile here to the snare drum. And do you know what? We use that a lot, let's favorite it as well. So that's gonna be starred and it'll always live up there. And we're just gonna record that in. Cool. So what Smart EQ is trying to do here is make it feel like a snare drum. So it's giving it loads and loads and loads at uh, 200. But what we're going to do is just narrow it down because we're not too interested in that. And we're just going to sort of phase that away. And I'm going to bring it down to around the 12 dB sort of ranges here. And it's really up here that we're really concerned with. And we are going to use the low shelf here. We're going to turn this into a shelf. And then we're going to use this one here just to roll off any frequencies. Sort of below the 100 area because we don't really want it to conflict with the kick drum here. This is just all about the, the snare drum. So we just want to roll that off sort of like that. And we're just going to try and get some, some highs on the left and right really showing through here. Um, but we want it to work with our snare drum. So that's what we've just sort of isolated this area out here. And we can bring a bit more of that in now, I think. Yeah, it's got some extra highs there we don't really want. And let's just listen to what we can do. So our menu on the right hand side here, if we click the little arrow, we can bring that out and we can have a look at some of the mid side difference. Now look, we can bring this to mid and it gives us our solid circle here, or we can bring it out to sides and it gives us the sides here. And that's really what we want to be focusing on here. And um, we're going to solo out the sides as well. Cool. So I really like what it's bringing out here just on the sides. Let's just unsolo it for a second. Of course, cool. so there's not very much mid in there at all, which is great. That's really what we're after, or what I was after in this track. Uh, let's look to bring that snare back in, which I think is this track just here. Cool, so that's giving us loads of tops and sides. Let's just mute the reverb and then bring it back in. So that's our dry snare. And we've given it loads of width and highs on the sides now without really affecting uh, any of the mids. So in context, what do we have? And that's given us a load of space and feeling without really affecting the mids on the snare. So that's just one simple technique you can do with the mid side settings in Smart EQ 2. I hope that was helpful for you guys. If it was, please bash a like on the video. Any questions, throw them in the comments down below and I will see you on the next one.